local single mother of seven, including two sets of twins, is getting the chance to start over thanks to Habitat for Humanity and a group of local volunteers. In exchange, she will pay it forward to help another family who's fallen on hard times. Our senior reporter Wayne Koval introduces us to her and to those who helped change her fortunes. Wayne? Well, Bill, it has been a rough year for this young lady. The mother of seven has fallen on hard times. She spent months on end with her children in a motel, but now she believes in Christmas miracles. And her testament is her smile and the joy that she has on her face now. Broken glass and shattered dreams. I was literally in shock for a while. This once proud home will soon be turning a rough past year for Kenitra Thompson into smiles. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Kenitra knows this holiday. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> it's one she and her children will never forget. This is Christmas for me <laughs> for a long time because I never thought I would end up right here. Right here means being selected by Tri-Cities Habitat for Humanity for a new home. So this opportunity is just like, wow, we could finally, you know, have home. We don't got to go nowhere else. As with all Habitat homes, there are strings attached. Kenitra will have to put in 300 hours of sweat equity into the building of her house and then 100 hours helping with the next house to be built. I'm excited because I feel like it still gives us an opportunity to help someone while someone is helping us. To help with the cost of the project, Dominion Energy donated $30,000. But a Habitat for Humanity project home can also mean changes for a neighborhood. It has the transformative effect is what I call it. When people see this type of renovation going on in, in their neighborhood, um, it definitely sparked interest from investors and from property owners to say, hey, let's step up our game here and, and, and put those resources necessary to improve the neighborhood. And for neighbors like Rhonda Nicholas and her husband. Hopefully to get the other landlords that's out here that got houses just sitting around doing nothing would have maybe to motivate them to do the same thing. It's work need to be done on several homes in the neighborhood. And it would be nice to make it just a family oriented place if they would fix them up and, you know, give people an opportunity to have a nice place to live. Now, Habitat depends on a host of volunteers to complete their projects. For Carnitra's house, weather and volunteers cooperating, she could be moving in this time next year.